So Cannon, trying to step back in the game. They were getting tired of making wicker baskets out of corn, and they're like, let's make cameras again. On the surface, it at least appears that the Cannon Cripple Hammer has lost some power. Oh, look, you're so cute. Look how small you are. That's funny. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, you're stronger in the small size. So the 1DX3, is it even real, first of all? Because people be lying up in this. I don't, I don't want another A7S3 feud to happen. Canon, is this real? Are you lying to us? First of all, if it's real, it's both amazing and terrible for us. And I will explain why today. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, yeah, he will. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Fuji X-T3 today. 16 mil f1.4 autofocusing. Swift. Dare I dream it. Dynamic range enabled, 200. So the window is slightly exposed properly. I could boost it to 400, but then I, it scares me. I don't know what's gonna happen to the shadows. Will they come out and scare my children? I don't have any, but still, it's a worry. The father can worry, even if he has no kids. Who are you to judge me? If you're wondering why this video is an exposure compensations nightmare, that dynamic range setting, what the hell did that do to my life? I just moved it up to 200 from 100, and it made me dark. It very much prioritizes those highlights. I see it now. So maybe outdoors that'll work? We'll test it someday. But indoors? Bit of a nightmare. And I did auto white balance. With my halogen light, it didn't go well. So don't judge the poor Fuji on this video. Don't judge it. It can do better. In better hands. Why do you always mess me? So this 1DX3, it looks like Canon's finally gonna try. It's like, okay, enough of this. The cripple hammer has ravaged our farms. We can't sleep. Enough. They finally said, okay. I think they had a boardroom meeting about it, actually. All right, fellas, they're on to us. The jig is up. They realize we're recycling old cameras, just adding fleece underneath. There's no new features. People caught on. We're gonna have to go back to work. Vacation's over, boys. I don't wanna go back to work. Work sucks, mom. You can't make me. For the third time, Gregford, I'm not your mother. One. Two, you are fired. Three, pick up your last check and donate it to our favorite charity downstairs. The middle-aged men who are jealous of not being able to be Girl Scouts and we help them they'll become what they want if we do have to return to work which we all dread may I suggest we update the only camera that was ever good in our lineup the 1DX line that behemoth thing I can't even lift it I made it and I can't lift it what are we gonna add to it this guy's just gonna collapse on any table it's rest upon well, Nikon lied about putting raw video in their camera, so we could do that. We're good at lying. No one's gonna believe it. Everybody knows our HDMI port only goes into Atari machines. Well, let's do raw internally then. There's room in there. We can just remove the shelving units that you had us install inside the camera. And then there'll be room for like the heat sink. I love those shelving units. Sure, people can't access them. They don't even know they're in there, but so handy if they did know, you know? We could put SD cards in there and microphones. We should have put a latch or something on the door. Let's throw everything we got at this camera, boss. Just wow the world. Freaking wow world. That's where I want to live, don't you? I do. Okay, let's do it. You're fired. So Canon appears to be throwing everything they got at this camera because it's for pros. It's for the Olympics. Unlike the Sony A92, that thing is going to crush the Sony. What the hell has Sony been doing? They've been resting, sleeping, hibernating like bears. They ate too much honey. Right after that A7 III release, they ate a bunch of honey, fell asleep for like two years. It's time to wake up, Sony. Somebody go wake them out of their cave. Help them. Help them. But here's the problem. We've asked for the perfect camera. We've been given it twice now. The Panasonic S1H and now this 1DX3, even though that doesn't have a flippy screen, therefore not perfect. I contradicted myself real quick on that one. Wow, that's a new record. Still, I have points. 
When we ask for these things, full frame sensor, perfect autofocus, IBIS, stabilized flippy screen, these things end up costing money. So they end up being six grand for the camera and they're huge bodybuilding, bulking bodybuilder cameras. <laughs> What the hell was that? We gotta be careful what we ask for because companies are making what we want and then they're big and expensive. I thought, didn't wasn't lightweight in the list of features we asked for? Y'all ignoring that one. And cheap. What happened to that? Freaking S1H with this heat sink, giant thing, and the 1DX3 with its shelving units. It's too much. Now some people might say, this camera wasn't built for me, for vloggers on YouTube. Your show isn't the Olympics. And to that, I disagree. I, I have medals. I won a medal once. I have a plaque. 100,000 subscribers on the other channel. I gave it to my mom. She was very appreciative. She was hoping it was like a TV or something. A gift. It was a mystery gift. She didn't smile. But she smiled inside. I have medals. The 1DX3 looks phenomenal on paper while in use. What's up with the fixed LCD screen? It doesn't even tilt. It's 1997. Wake up, Canon. What the hell is that? It's just fixed. Even if you're taking pictures, you got the crook neck. You gotta put a mirror down here. And your food from the hot dog's gonna spill on the mirror. And you're gonna be like, oh, why is the hamburger in focus? There's not even a hamburger in the shot. It's your meal. You would have made a juice or something you wouldn't have worried about it so it's becoming very apparent that what we're asking for in the perfect camera has much higher appraisal value than we wished it had and i'm not gonna fall for your lies so full frame is dead i've declared it this day fuji has taken over the top podium they won the gold medal at the olympics all cameras at the olympics will be fuji cameras they have that 200 mil f2 that's long enough but honestly, this Canon, the usability isn't there. Like, just like the X-T3, I can't see myself. I have found a life hack. As a professional photographer in the Micro Four Thirds system, I will now demonstrate my skills to you as I capture what appears to be the greatest life hack of the century. Oh, no. Real of Thirds. That was, oh, there it is. I focused and recomposed. For those who don't know, that's when uh, your camera sucks and it can't focus out here. But you can focus here and then move it here. I explained that well. So we appear to have a flippy screen, don't we? Because my flippy screen camera is filming the non-flippy screen camera from behind. I'm ahead of my time, really. That's all it comes down to. It's fantastic. It works. Kind of, except the zebras in the GH5S do not relate to the Fuji's exposure system, which never fails. So that tripped me up in the beginning, <laughs> but I managed. And what's that down at the bottom, you ask? That appears to be a, a Weeble S sitting amongst sandals. There are socks next to the sandals, just in case I want to appear more fashionable. And there are some gadgets things I used to open the box. I'm sorry I didn't make an unboxing video for you. It'll come in the future. And I'm back. So how's the Fuji looking? Autofocus? Is it handling it? I tell you I'm in love. I tell you I am in love. We got the kit lens and the 10 to 24 and the 16 mil 1.4. I'm gonna do a little battle. I've already done it. I've already filmed it. It'll be the next video. Just be weary. The image is very shaky in the beginning, unusable, but then I start ninja walking and we become one with the stabilization gods of the wind. And it happens before all of our eyes. <laughs> all right, we're done. What do you think, 1DX3? Have they finally made a Canon camera that isn't crippled? It appears they did. If they would have put a flippy screen on it, I would declare a perfect camera of 2020 but they did not, therefore they go in the dungeon where they belong. And Fuji, our overlords, accept us. We accept them. So we're done. Thanks for buying it. I need more shirts. Uh, it's dirty, I can't just keep wearing the same one.
I realize that. I smell like a jackrabbit. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry, Gerald Undone, you had to put up with that. We'll get it. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.